Today in this 1998 Dodge Ram 2500 two-wheel drive, we're going to install part number F2071 from Firestone, the Ride Right suspension system. Before we begin our install on the truck, let's go ahead and do some pre-assembly on our table of the components. To begin our assembly, we're going to be using these main components. This bracket is going to get bolted to the frame itself. Obviously the airbag itself. Take our little covers off. And what's going to happen is that this bracket is going to sit on top of the airbag and match up just like that. Then we're just going to go ahead and take two little flange lock nuts. We're just going to run them down tight right now. We're going to run them to a stop in about a quarter turn. Probably all you'll need. But at this point you want to double check your torque ratings and check your bolts too. Next we're going to install our little angle brass part here. Kind of like an angle pipe. We're going to run it down to where the sealant goes into the threads on the airbag itself. And we're going to go ahead and use a half inch wrench just to tighten it up. Looks like we're good to go there. Now let's flip this assembly over. And we're just going to take this bolt like finger tight till it stops. Because we're going to adjust this on our spring. Certain vehicles will need to move it one way or the other. And you may have to flip it over to get the right alignment that you need to. So let's go over to the truck. We've already removed the tire so you can see what's going on. We want to take the center of the airbag and kind of center up with the center tie bolt of the spring stack itself. We just got to eyeball it, doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and we'll see how everything relates to the frame and, and the springs themselves. If you notice right off the bat, springs are kind of at an odd, odd angle, plus we're not reaching the frame with our bracket either. That can be fixed. The kit comes with spacers to help level out the spring assembly as needed. In this situation, we're going to use the one inch step right here, and I think it looks it's pretty close to even level right here. So if it droops down a little bit in the back, that's fine because once the weight on the truck is on the springs, it'll actually come back up a little bit too. Okay, so we're okay with the setup on our bottom of our, our airbag. All right, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get our frame bracket marked so we can attach it to the frame. We're gonna drill four holes out. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of air to the bag so stretch it out just a little bit, just enough for it to get the job done. And then we'll let it do the work for us. So it'll be easier to mark and drill our holes. To inflate the bag, we're going to just run a small piece of airline and use our valve just to hold everything together and keep the air inside. This is a good spot to show you where and how the line hooks up into the valves. You want to make sure that this cut here is as square as possible and sharp and clean. And all you do really is you just push it into place until it stops. And pull back on a little bit and it locks into place. And that's it. To take it apart, you push down on this little collar right here, push back just a little bit and then you can, you can kind of work it back out that way. All right, so let's go ahead and push that back together. And we'll take this end and apply it to our elbow on top. And we'll put some air to it. Again, you don't want to put too much in here, just enough to make it expand. All right, that pushed up pretty good now. Now all we gotta do is hold this up a little bit more and make sure we stay away from the, the curve of the steel right here so we can have a, plenty of room for a washer. This washer here will actually go on the inside of where a flange nut goes. What would be a good idea is to take this washer, put it behind our bracket right now, use it as a gauge to tell us how far up we need to go. So the washer will sit flat against the steel and not hit against the curve of the steel. There's a little marker to mark it. Do our top hole too. Make sure we keep everything level. Then we'll go ahead and do the other side too. Got our holes marked. Let's go ahead and take our assembly out of the way. Let's drill some pot holes out. And then we'll go ahead and drill those out to 3 eighths of an inch for our hardware. Start with our first bolt right here. We're going directly through the frame. And again, we'll put our 3 eighths washer behind it. And then we'll put one of the locking flange nuts behind that. Now, on our top bolt here, you notice that the frame kind of has a dent into it. So we'll use this washer to go behind that part of a bracket. And then we'll use another washer on the other side. Okay, let's go do the other side now. We'll go ahead and hand tighten the bolts and then we'll torque them down as specified in the instructions. And let's work on our bottom bracket going through the springs. Clamp on the bottom side will sit like just like this. And we'll drop our bolts through. And we can clamp to this top overload spring right here. And you can go to the bottom. However, over time I would think these springs will compress them down enough where it could shift around and might 
possibly damage something on the airbag itself might come out of alignment. So we're actually going to just go and clamp it to this part right here of the helper spring itself. And it's okay to do that as the instruction states. However, the bolt is like really long if we're going to do it that way. So honestly, we're just going to make a mark on the bolt right here, but we're just going to cut them short. We're going to do this for every bolt all the way around. And the ones going towards the front of the vehicle are going to be a little bit longer than the ones in the back. Shorten our bolts can be pretty simple. We're just going to get a couple blocks of wood. We're going to put it in our bench vise and just clamp it down. Okay, and here's our marks right here. You can take a Dremel, any type of reciprocating saw, just stay in between the threads. One down, three to go. Again, these are locked up, so they'll only go a couple threads. All right, now let's go ahead and tighten these down. You want to get them snug first. Make sure you have everything centered the way you want it. On the, on the spring assembly itself. We're fastened to the spring assembly now. Now remember, we had our bolt loose right here. Let's make sure we have it as straight as possible. Then we'll just go ahead and tighten the bolt underneath. All right, just a little valve we put in. Now let's go ahead and just remove it. We'll a little ring right here on our, our angle piece or elbow. We're just gonna push that in and then we'll just work the rest of it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and mark out the holes for our air valves, for our airbags. And I think we're gonna put a hole about right here in the corner of the license plate where this little valve will get installed. I think we'll use one of the washers that come with it as a guide to mark our hole. And of course, you'll make sure, look on the back side of it, make sure there's nothing in the way back there. On the other side, and we'll put our nut in place. All right, we got them installed. Now the body themselves act like a nut, so we'll just go ahead and just tighten them down from the other side and they'll be snug. Right now we can go ahead and run our lines. Now we're gonna take our line and we're just gonna connect it to the elbow right here. Again, we're just make sure that this is an even cut, push it in and give it a tug back, and we're good to go. Now we'll take the other end of our line and we'll route it from, from here to the bumper. You can do this in a variety of different ways, up to your own choosing. As long as you stay away from anything hot or moving, that's the main thing you want to look out for. We ran the air line between the bed supports and the bed itself. And then we just came out through the frame. And we're going to cut our line about right here and, fit, and install it to the air line fitting. Simple little cutter is designed for plastic tubing. All right, driver's side done. Let's go ahead and do the passenger side. All right, let's go ahead and apply some air to our suspension here. Now that we got air in our suspension, everything looks good. Raise it back up to the truck a little bit so it's ready for a load now. And there you have it for part number F2071 from Firestone, the Ride Right Air Helper Spring Kit. Yeah.